One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Well, that's one way to hide a room. I wonder if Dogmeat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Dogmeat! Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? It's not too late. Stop. Turn around and leave. You have that option. Not a lot of people can say that. So where is it, huh? This institute? How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the institute. The Institute finds you. Hey, follow me, Lieutenant. I could use your help. I'll stay here and make sure things keep running smoothly. You should probably go find the General. Over here, Lieutenant. I will leave you two to it. Lieutenant, Dr. King's work is vital to our cause. Help her with whatever she requires. The condition of the labs aside, I'm not able to resume my work until I have access to three crucial items. An automated analyzer, a hactane capacitor, and some FEV2 samples. How does it work? Oh, it's nothing exciting. It's a device able to analyze hazardous materials without endangering ourselves. It'll be necessary. What is it? To be frank with you, I'm not entirely sure what it is. Myers told me he needed it to repair some of the equipment in here. That sounds dangerous. In the wrong hands, it certainly is. I won't bore you with details, but allow me to paint you a picture. Imagine for a moment that at the snap of your fingers, humanity would no longer be threatened by radiation or its offspring. FEV is the key to that power. Where would I find that? You strike me as quite the explorer, so this may pique your interest. There is, was, I suppose, an enormous military complex beneath Boston. General Ward and I had inspected it shortly before sheltering in the vault. According to some scouting reports, it seems a tunnel collapse has resulted in easy enough access to what's left of the facility. You'll be able to find everything I need there. Take care, though. I imagine plenty of opportunists have made their way inside, too. Do I look like I have time for idle chit chat? Head on inside.
feel that.
only a matter of time before I find you. Can't pick this. Bingo.
That's it. Bingo. Excuse me, officer. Lieutenant, we thought you may need reinforcements. We'll get that door open. Come with me. Ah! <laughs> 
There we go. That looks like an FEV sample to me. Be careful with it. We're going back to command. See you there. Sir. Lieutenant, I thought I was clear. You are to assist Dr. Kane with whatever she needs. Dismissed. Excuse me, Doctor. Was there something else? Here you go. Oh? Let's see. Excellent. Yes, these will do nicely. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. I can now make the necessary preparations for my work. In fact, I'll arrange for the technicians to get started here right away. Here, I trust this compensation is enough for your troubles? Doctor? Now, there is one matter that we must address. It's all well and good having the tools, but without anything to run the experiments on, it's all for naught. That being the case, I'm going to need some tissue samples. How do I, uh, obtain this tissue sample, exactly? Uh, to clarify, I will be taking the samples. What I need is for you to bring me three living specimens. I'm going to need two contaminated subjects. For the best results, a heavily mutated creature, as well as your typical wasteland denizen. And I will also need a pure, untainted human. What do you mean, contaminated? Uh, well, technically, anything exposed to long-term radiation will do. What I'm really looking for are two subjects on the opposite sides of the spectrum. Uh, one heavily mutated specimen, such as a ghoul or a super mutant, as well as a specimen with less obvious mutations like your average wastelander. This will allow me to tailor the FEV adequately. Where would I find that? Underground, I would expect. A vault like ours? I'm sure you must have somewhere in mind. I must stress that the subject has not faced long-term radiation exposure. That would compromise my work. I'm ready to get to work. Uh, here, take this specialized stun baton. It isn't especially reliable, but you'll need it to stun the specimens long enough to bring them back here. It's only able to stun every few hours, so be sure to pick your moment. I suggest less conspicuous targets. You wouldn't want to make a scene.
that. I'll wear your guts around my neck. Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? 
Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? Just looking to do a little trading? Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? Excuse me, ma'am. Before you arrived, she did say she was from Vault 111, and she's in possession of a working pit boy. Is that so? I'm going to allow it. Edwards, open the door and make the announcement. Officer Edwards and I will meet you at the entrance. Come on, Gwen. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. We've never encountered a fellow Vault Dweller. Is this Vault 111 you mentioned still operational? No. Not anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened there? Did something go wrong? They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods. But something malfunctioned. Oh my god. All those lives lost due to some malfunction? That's unacceptable. I suppose we've been lucky. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for this long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. Now, I have work to do. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. I got two words on what I expect out of you. Best behavior. Hey there. So, we got a new visitor today. Don't say anything, but man, I'd love to be out there. It takes some preparation. I'd learn how to use a gun and be ready to use it before I went out there. I've never even touched a gun. Now, I can't even say if our security has seen any real combat, but with the hours we're working these days, I'm not even sure where I'd find the time to practice. Hard work pays off, and you guys are maintaining the vault, right? Trying to, at least. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you, and I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. Detecting moderate hey, levels of radiation. You, you may want to stop by our Ashes, medical center. Where are you going? Dr. Forsyth Ash. or Rachel could help you with that. Damn it. Aaron's not going to like this. Yeah?
really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. I knew it! Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Okay. Give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes! I gotta show you to Erin. She's gonna flip. Follow me. We'll start over here. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. Good to know, Austin. Thanks. See, I told you I know things. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. The Overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Overseer, huh? I suppose someone needs to be in charge? Well, if you need her, that's where you'll find her. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice, though. You'll like them. Hello, Austin. I see you're showing our guests from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. I'll come here if I get hungry. I like it here. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Grand makes me comb it. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. If I ever need a new hairstyle, I'll come here. I hate getting my hair cut. Next stop is Gran. Let's go see Gran. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Hi, Gran. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering her. I'm helping her. Hmm. That's Gran. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Pensky. She acts a little grumpy, but it's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. Good to know. I bet she takes good care of you. When she remembers. Or isn't too busy. Watch it, boy. Next up, Miss Katie. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time. But Gran says I have to go anyway. Your Gran is a smart woman, Austin. It's good to know all the kids are getting an education. If you say so. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless Gran makes me.
This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, you come down here. Dr. Forsythe says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Good to know. If I need help, I'll come here. I hope you don't mind needles. They poke at you a lot in here. Now we go see Erin. She's gonna be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. Look who I found! The stranger from the Commonwealth! Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. Whoa. Someone from the Commonwealth! That's so cool! We haven't had a visitor in a while now. Thanks for doing my tour! I was so cool to show you off to everyone. I heard we had a trainer in today. Is that your pit boy? Better be. You should stop by and see Horatio while you're here. Can't imagine you come across many barbers in the Commonwealth. You got guts wearing that pit boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. We got a barber here if you need it. I'm not saying you do. The Commonwealth sounds so exciting and dangerous. Seeds. I need more seeds. Everything's under control. Yeah? We keep the vault safe. Welcome back. The specimens you brought are impeccable. I've taken some initial samples and I will soon be ready to run preliminary tests.
Glad to help. One last thing before you go. I believe Captain Peterson was looking for you.